West Bromwich Albion Football Club, also known as West Brom, the Baggies, the Throssels, Albion or WBA, is an English professional football club based in West Bromwich in the West Midlands. The club was formed in 1878 and has played at its home ground, the Hawthorns, since 1900. Albion were one of the founding members of the Football League in 1888 and have spent the majority of their existence in the top tier of English football. They have been champions of England once, in 1919 a Euro 20, but have had more success in the FA Cup, with five wins. The first came in 1888, the year the league was founded, and the most recent in 1968, their last major trophy. They also won the Football League Cup at the first attempt in 1966. The club's longest consecutive period in the top division was between 1949 and 1973, and from 1986 to 2002 they spent their longest ever spell out of the top division. The 2014 Euro 15 season is their ninth season in the top flight since 2002. The team has played in blue and white stripes for most of the club's history. Albion have a number of long-standing rivalries with other West Midland clubs. Their traditional rivals have always been Aston Villa, their rivalry also exists with Wolverhampton Wanderers, with whom they contest the Black Country Derby. On 14 June 2014 it was announced that Alan Irvin would take over the vacant manager role. History the club was founded as West Bromwich Strollers in 1878 by workers from George Salter's Spring Works in West Bromwich, then in Staffordshire but now part of the West Midlands Administrative County. They were renamed West Bromwich Albion in 1880, becoming the first team to adopt the Albion suffix. Albion was a district of West Bromwich where some of the players lived or worked, close to what is today Greets Green. The club joined the Birmingham and District Football Association in 1881 and became eligible for their first competition, the Birmingham Cup. They reached the quarter-finals, beating several longer established clubs on the way. In 1883, Albion won their first trophy, the Staffordshire Cup. Albion joined the Football Association in the same year. This enabled them to enter the FA Cup for the first time in the 1883 Euro 84 season. In 1885 the club turned professional, and in 1886 they reached the FA Cup final for the first time, losing to a Euro Zero to Blackburn Rovers in a replay. They reached the final again in 1887, but lost to a Euro Zero to Aston Villa. In 1888 the team won the trophy for the first time, beating strong favourites Preston North End to a Euro One in the final. In March 1888, William McGregor wrote to what he considered to be the top five English teams, including Albion, informing them of his intention to form an association of clubs that would play each other home and away each season. Thus when the Football League started later that year, Albion became one of the twelve founder members. Albion's second FA Cup success came in 1892, beating Aston Villa 3 a Euro 0. They met Villa again in the 1895 final, but lost one a Euro Zero. The team suffered relegation to Division Two in 1900 a Euro 01, their first season at the Hawthorns. They were promoted as champions the following season but relegated again in 1903 a Euro 04. The club won the Division Two championship once more in 1910 a Euro 11, and the following season reached another FA Cup final, where they were defeated by second division Barnsley in a replay. Albion won the Football League title in 1919 a Euro 20 for the only time in their history following the end of the First World War, their totals of 104 goals and 60 points both breaking the previous league records. The team finished as Division 1 runners-up in 1924 a Euro 25, narrowly losing out to Huddersfield Town, but were relegated in 1926 a Euro 27. In 1930 a Euro 31 they won promotion as well as the FA Cup, beating Birmingham to a Euro 1 in the final. The double of winning the FA Cup and promotion has not been achieved before or since. Albion reached the final again in 1935, losing to Sheffield Wednesday, but were relegated three years later. They gained promotion in 1948 a Euro 49, and there followed the club's longest unbroken spell in the top flight of English football a total of 24 years. 
In 1953 a Euro 54 Albion came close to being the first team in the 20th century to win the league and cup double. They succeeded in winning the FA Cup, beating Preston 3 a Euro 2, but injuries and a loss of form towards the end of the season meant that they finished as runners-up to fierce rivals Wolves in the league. Nonetheless, Albion became known for their brand of fluent, attacking football, with the 1953 Euro 54 side being hailed as the team of the century. One national newspaper went so far as to suggest that the team be chosen en masse to represent England at the 1954 World Cup finals. They remained one of the top English sides for the remainder of the decade, reaching the semi-final of the 1957 FA Cup and achieving three consecutive top five finishes in Division I between 1957 a Euro 58 and 1959 a Euro 60. Although their league form was less impressive during the 1960s, the second half of the decade saw West Bromwich Albion establish a reputation as a successful cup side. In 1966, under manager Jimmy Agan, they beat West Ham in their first League Cup appearance, winning 5 a Euro 3 on aggregate in their last two-legged final. The following year they reached the final again, the first at Wembley, but lost 3 a Euro 2 to 3rd Division QP after being 2 a Euro 0 up at half-time. Albion's cup form continued under Hagen's successor Alan Ashman. He guided the club to their last major trophy to date, the 1968 FA Cup, when they beat Everton in extra time thanks to a single goal from Jeff Arsenal. Albion reached the FA Cup semi-final and European Cup Winners' Cup quarter-final in 1969, and were defeated 2 a Euro 1 by Manchester City in the 1970 League Cup final. The club were less successful during the reign of Don Howe, and were relegated to Division 2 at the end of 1972 a Euro 1973, but gained promotion three years later under the guidance of player manager Johnny Giles. Under Ron Atkinson, Albion reached a 1978 FA Cup semi-final but lost to Ipswich Town. They were then the first Western football team to tour China, playing several exhibition games over three weeks. In 1978 Euro 79, the team finished third in Division 1, their highest placing for over 20 years, and also reached the UEFA Cup quarter-final, where they were defeated by Red Star Belgrade. In his second spell as manager, Ronnie Allen guided the team to both domestic cup semi-finals in 1981 Euro 82. The mid-1980s saw the start of Albion's longest and deepest decline. They were relegated in 1985 Euro 86 with the worst record in the club's history, beginning a period of 16 years outside the top flight. Five years later the club were relegated to the third division for the first time. Albion had spent the majority of their history in the top flight of English football, but when the FA Premier League was founded in 1992 the club found themselves in the third tier, which had been renamed Division II. In 1992 a Euro 93 Albion finished fourth and entered the playoffs for the first time, having just missed out the previous year. Albion's first appearance at Wembley for over 20 years a Euro and their last ever at the original stadium a Euro saw them beat Port Vale 3 a Euro 0 to return to the second level a Euro now renamed the first division. Manager Ossie Ardiles then joined Tottenham Hotspur however, and a succession of managers over the next few seasons saw Albion consolidate their Division 1 status without ever mounting a serious promotion challenge. The appointment of Gary Megson in March 2000 heralded an upturn in the club's fortunes. Megson guided Albion to Division 1 safety in 1999 a Euro 2000, and to the playoffs a year later. He went on to lead the club to promotion to the Premier League in 2001 a Euro 02. After being relegated in their first Premier League season, they made an immediate return to the top flight in 2003 a Euro 04. In 2004 a Euro 05 Megson's successor, former Albion midfielder Brian Robson, led the team to a last-day great escape, when Albion became the first Premier League club to avoid relegation having been bottom of the table at Christmas. This feat was repeated by Sunderland in the 2013-14 season, but West Brom remain the only team to also have been bottom during the final day of the season. Despite this success, they failed to avoid the drop the following season, and Robson was replaced by Tony Mowbray in October 2006. 
the club competed in the championship promotion playoff final at Wembley Stadium on May 28, 2007, but lost 1 a Euro 0 to Derby County. The following season, in 2007 a Euro 08, Mowbray led the Baggies to Wembley again, this time in the semi finals of the FA Cup, where they lost 1 a Euro 0 to Portsmouth. One month later, Albion were promoted to the Premier League as winners of the championship, but were relegated at the end of the 2008 Euro 09 campaign. In June 2009, Mowbray left the club to manage Celtic and was replaced by Roberto Di Matteo in the role of head coach. Di Matteo led the club back to the Premier League at the first attempt, but was dismissed in February 2011 and replaced by Roy Hodgson. May 2012 saw Roy Hodgson, having led West Brom to a 10th place finish in his first season, leave to accept an offer to become the manager of the England national football team. Steve Clark then led Albion to an 8th place finish in 2012 a Euro 13, their highest in the Premier League but was sacked during the following season after four consecutive league defeats and only winning seven league games throughout the calendar year. After rumoured attempts to sign former Tottenham Hotspur caretaker manager Tim Sherwood, West Bromwich announced on 14 June 2014 that Alan Irvin would take over as manager. Colours West Bromwich Albion have played in navy blue and white striped shirts for the majority of their existence, usually with white shorts and white socks. The team is occasionally referred to as the Stripes by supporters. A number of different colours were trialled during the club's formative years however, including cardinal red and blue quarters in 1880 Euro 81, yellow and white quarters in 1881 Euro 82, chocolate and blue halves in 1881 Euro 82 and 1882 Euro 83, red and white hoops in 1882 Euro 83, Chocolate and white in 1883 Euro 84 and cardinal red and blue halves in 1884 Euro 85. The blue and white stripes made their first appearance in the 1885 Euro 86 season, although at that time they were of a lighter shade of blue. The navy blue stripes did not appear until after the First World War. For the regional leagues played during the Second World War, Albion were forced to switch to all blue shirts as rationing meant that striped material was considered a luxury. Like all football clubs, Albion sport a secondary or change strip when playing away from home against a team whose colours clash with their own. As long ago as the 1890s, and throughout much of the club's early history, a change strip of white jerseys with black shorts was worn. The away shirt additionally featured a large V during the First World War. In the 1935 FA Cup final however, when both of Albion and Sheffield Wednesday's kits clashed, a switch was made to plain navy blue shirts. An all-red strip was adopted at the end of the 1950s, but was dropped following defeat in the 1967 League Cup final, to be replaced by the all-white design that was worn during the club's FA Cup run of 1967-68. Euro 68. Since then the away strip has changed regularly, with yellow and green stripes the most common of a number of different designs used. In the 1990s and 2000s a third kit has occasionally been introduced. Albion players a Euro along with those of other football league teams a Euro first wore numbers on the back of their shirts in the abandoned season of 1939 a Euro 40, and names on the back of their shirts from 1999 a Euro 2000. Red numbers were added to the side of Albion players shorts in 1969. BSO Housewares became the club's first shirt sponsor during the 1981 Euro 82 season. The club's shirts have been sponsored for the majority of the time since then, although there was no shirt sponsor at the end of the 1993 Euro 94 season, after local solicitors Coucher and Shaw were closed down by the Law Society. Unusually for a Premier League club, Albion were again without a shirt sponsor for the start of the 2008 Euro 09 campaign as negotiations with a new sponsor were still ongoing when the season began. The longest-running shirt sponsorship deal agreed by the club ran for seven seasons between 1997 and 2004 with the West Bromwich Building Society. Since May 2011, West Brom's kit has been manufactured by Adidas, who were contracted until 2016. Badge Albion's main club badge dates back to the late 1880s, when the club's secretary Tom Smith suggested that a throstle sitting on a crossbar be adopted for the badge. Since then, 
The club badge has always featured a throstle, usually on a blue and white striped shield, although the crossbar was replaced with a hawthorn branch at some point after the club's move to the hawthorns. The throstle was chosen because the public house in which the team used to change kept a pet thrush in a cage. It also gave rise to Albion's early nickname, the throstles. As late as the 1930s, a caged throstle was placed beside the touchline during matches and it was said that it only used to sing if Albion were winning. In 1979 an effigy of a throstle was erected above the half-time scoreboard of the Woodman Corner at the Hawthorns, and was returned to the same area of the ground following redevelopment in the early 2000s. The badge has been subject to various revisions through the years, meaning that the club were unable to register it as a trademark. As a result of this, the badge was redesigned in 2006, incorporating the name of the club for the first time. The new badge gave Albion the legal protection they sought. The main club badge should be distinguished from the badge displayed on the first team strip, as the two have rarely coincided. No badge appeared on the kit for most of the club's history, although the staff had not featured on the team jerseys for part of the 1880s. The West Bromwich Town arms were worn on the players' shirts for the 1931, 1935 and 1954 FA Cup finals. The town's Latin motto, Labor Omnia Vincit, translates as Labor Conquers All Things, or Work Conquers All. The town arms were revived as the shirt badge from 1994 until 2000, with the throstle moved to the collar of the shirts. Albion's first regular shirt badge appeared in the late 1960s and early 1970s where it was blue. Although it featured the throstle, it did not include the blue and white striped shield of a club badge. A similar design was also used during the late 1980s and early 1990s. In the mid-1970s, a more abstract version of the throstle was used on the club's shirts, while in the late 1970s through to the mid-1980s, an embroidered WBA logo was displayed, a common abbreviation of the club's name in print. Not until the early 21st century did the full club badge appear on the team's shirts. Grounds The speed with which the club became established following its foundation is illustrated by the fact that it outgrew four successive grounds in its first seven years. The first was Cooper's Hill, where they played from 1878 to 1879. From 1879 to 1881 they appear to have alternated between Cooper's Hill and Dartmouth Park. During the 1881 Euro 82 season they played at Buns Field, also known as the Birches. This had a capacity of between 1,500 and 2,000, and was Albion's first enclosed ground, allowing the club to charge an entrance fee for the first time. From 1882 to 1885, as the popularity of football increased, Albion rented the four acres ground from the well-established West Bromwich Dartmouth Cricket Club. But they quickly outgrew this new home and soon needed to move again. From 1885 to 1900 Albion played at Stony Lane. Their tenure of this ground was arguably the most successful period in the club's history, as they won the FA Cup twice and were runners-up three times. By 1900, when the lease on Stony Lane expired, the club needed a bigger ground yet again and so made its last move to date. All of Albion's previous grounds had been close to the centre of West Bromwich, but on this occasion they took up a site on the town's border with Handsworth. The new ground was named the Hawthorns, after the hawthorn bushes that covered the area and were cleared to make way for it. Albion drew one a Euro one with Derby County in the first match at the stadium, on September 3, 1900. The record attendance at the Hawthorns was on March 6, 1937, when 64,815 spectators saw Albion beat Arsenal 3 a Euro 1 in the FA Cup quarter final. The Hawthorns became an all seater stadium in the 1990s, in order to comply with the recommendations of the Taylor Report. Its capacity today is 26,272, the four stands being known respectively as the Birmingham Road End, Smethwick End, East Stand and West Stand. At an altitude of 551 feet above sea level, the Hawthorns is the highest of all the 92 Premier League and Football League grounds. Supporters The West Bromwich Albion Supporters Club has branches throughout the United Kingdom, as well as in Ireland, Australia, Malta and Thailand. 
Albion's club anthem is The Lord's My Shepherd, a setting of Psalm 23. Supporters of the team celebrate goals by bouncing up and down and chanting boing boing. This dates back to the 1992 Euro 93 season, when the team was promoted from the new second division. In recent years fans of the team have celebrated the end of each season by adopting a fancy dress theme for the final away match, including dressing as Vikings in 2004 in honor of player of the season Thomas Gardzoe. In 2002 a Euro 03 Albion's fans were voted the best in the Premier League by their peers, while in the BBC's 2002 National Intelligence Test Test the Nation, they were found to be more likely to be smarter than any other football supporters, registering an average score of 138. Publications The club has published an official match day programme for supporters since 1905. The publication was entitled Albion News for many years, but was renamed Albion from the 2002 Euro 03 season until the close season of 2013, when it was renamed back to Albion News. It won Premier League Programme of the Year in 2002 Euro 03 and Third Division Programme of the Year in 1991 Euro 92. In 2007 Euro 08 it was awarded Championship Programme of the Year by both Programme Monthly and the Football Programme Directory. The programme has a circulation in excess of 8,000 copies. The first West Bromwich Albion fanzine, Fingerpost, was published from 1983 until 1992, and was followed by several others, most notably Grawty Dick and Last Train to Rolf Street. Since Grawty Dick ceased publication in 2005, the club now only has one fanzine dedicated to it. Baggy Shorts which is produced by the West Bromwich Albion Supporters Club London branch. Bag is nickname. Although known in their early days as the Throstles, the club's more popular nickname among supporters came to be the Baggies, a term which the club itself looked down upon for many years but later embraced. The phrase was first heard at the Hawthorns in the 1900s, but its exact origins are uncertain. One suggestion is that the name was bestowed on Albion supporters by their rivals at Aston Villa, because of the large baggy trousers that many Albion fans wore at work to protect themselves from molten iron in the factories and foundries of the black country. Club historian Tony Matthews however suggests that it derives from the bagman, who carried the club's matchday takings in big leather bags from the turnstiles to the cash office on the halfway line. Other theories relate to the baggy shorts worn by various players during the club's early years. The official club mascots are named Baggy Bird and Albi. Both are based on the throstle depicted on the club crest. Rivalries Historically, Albion's greatest rivals have always been Aston Villa from nearby Birmingham. The two clubs contested three FA Cup finals between 1887 and 1895. More recently however, most Albion fans have begun to see Wolverhampton Wanderers as their main rivals a Euro particularly between 1989 and 2002 when Albion and Villa were never in the same division but Albion were in the same division as Wolves for 11 out of 14 seasons. However with Albion and Villa being in different divisions for so many years, the rivalry is less heated as Aston Villa supporters consider Birmingham City as their main local rivals and not Albion despite geographical distance between the two clubs. Now Villa and Albion are both back in the Premier League together, and with Albion finishing above their nearest rivals for the second season in a row, the historic Albion-Villa rivalry is resurfacing. Albion and Wolves have contested the Black Country derby more than 150 times. Their first major clash was an FA Cup tie in 1886. The rivalry came to prominence when the two clubs contested the league title in 1953 Euro 54, and during the 1990s it intensified to new heights among supporters, with both clubs languishing in Division 1 for much of the decade and only local pride at stake. Moreover, in 2002 Albion came from being 11 points adrift to overhaul Wolves to gain promotion. The rivalry was further heightened after the sides met in the playoffs in 2007. A 2004 survey by PlanetFootball.com confirmed that the majority of both Albion and Wolves supporters consider the other to be their main rival. A less heated rivalry also exists with Birmingham City, with whom Albion contested the 1931 FA Cup final, as well as a semi-final in 1968. 
Despite their geographical location Warsaw are seen as lesser rivals, having played in a lower division than Albion for most of their history. A number of hooligan firms associate themselves with Albion, including Section 5, Clubhouse and the Smethic Mob. In popular culture, in the 2000s BBC television drama series New Tricks the characters Jack Harford, Brian Lane and Jerry Standing were so named by the writer Roy Mitchell in honor of the Harford Lane standing area of Albion's ground. The 1960s television documentary program Look at Britain screened an episode called The Saturday Men focusing on the club. Frank Skinner and Paula Wilcox starred in the comedy series Blue Heaven which followed the adventures of an Albion supporter in the 1990s and included scenes from the Hawthorns. Skinner is a real-life Albion supporter. Ownership and Governance In the club's formative years, West Bromwich Albion were run by a seven-man playing committee, and funded by each member contributing a weekly subscription of 6D. Albion's first chairman was Henry Jackson, appointed in 1885, with the club becoming a limited company in June 1891. Other early chairmen of Albion included Jem Bayliss and Billy Bassett, both of whom had earlier played for the club. Indeed, from 1878 to 1986 there was always an Albion player or ex-player on the club's committee or board of directors. Bassett became an Albion director in 1905, following the resignation of the previous board in its entirety. The club was in deep financial trouble and had had a writ served upon them by their bank, but Bassett and returning chairman Harry Keyes rescued the club, aided by local fundraising activities. Bassett became chairman in 1908, and helped the club to avoid bankruptcy once more in 1910 by paying the players summer wages from his own pocket. He remains Albion's longest-serving chairman, having held the position until his death in 1937. The club's longest-serving director was Major H. Wilson Keyes, during the period 1930-1965, including 15 years as chairman. He became FA Vice President in 1969. Sir Bert Millie served as Albion chairman from 1974 to 1983, after which he chose to concentrate on his role as chairman of the Football Association. In 1996 the club became a public limited company issuing shares to supporters at a £500 and a £3,000 each. The shares were quoted on the alternative investment market, but the club withdrew from the stock exchange in order to become a private company again in 2004. The name of the company thus reverted from West Bromwich Albion plc to West Bromwich Albion Limited, the latter becoming a subsidiary of West Bromwich Albion Holdings Limited. Current chairman Jeremy Peace took up the post in 2002, after a rift between previous chairman Paul Thompson and manager Gary Megson forced Thompson to quit the club. In September 2007, Peace acquired additional shares in West Bromwich Albion Holdings Limited, taking his total stake in the company to 50.56%. This triggered a requirement, under the takeover code, for him to make a mandatory cash offer for the remaining shares in both WBA Holdings Limited and WBA Limited. Later that year, Michelle Davies became Albion's first female director. She, however, has since stepped down from this position. Jeremy Peace announced in June 2008 that he was looking for a major new investor for the club, but no firm proposals were received by July 31st deadline. Players, as of July 12, 2014. First team squad, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Coaching staff, former players. As part of the club's 125th anniversary celebrations in 2004, a survey was commissioned via the official West Bromwich Albion website and the Express and Star newspaper to determine the greatest West Bromwich Albion players of all time. A modern-day 16-man squad was compiled from the results. All selected players are depicted on a commemorative mural displayed at the Hawthorns. Fourteen of the sixteen players are English-born, with the fifteenth, Cyril Regis, being a full England international. The list of sixteen is as follows. Other notable honours bestowed upon West Bromwich Albion players include the PFA Young Player of the Year Award, which was presented to Cyril Regis in 1979. In 1998, 
Billy Bassett and Brian Robson were named among the list of Football League 100 legends, along with Arthur Rowley, Jeff Hurst and Johnny Giles. Brian Robson was also an inaugural inductee into the English Football Hall of Fame in 2002, to be joined two years later by Jeff Hurst. Bobby Robson, a player with Albion, has also been inducted, although this was for his achievements as a manager. In 1919 Euro 20, Fred Morris became the first Albion player to finish as top goalscorer in Division 1, a feat which has since been repeated by Ronnie Allen, Derek Van, Jeff Arsell and Tony Brown. Brown, who holds the club records for goals and appearances, was voted into the PFA Centenary Hall of Fame in July 2007. Partial list of managers The following managers have all led West Bromwich Albion to at least one of the following achievements whilst in charge of the club, winning a major trophy or reaching the final, achieving a top three league finish in the top flight, winning promotion or reaching the quarter-finals of a major European competition. Records West Bromwich Albion's record victory was their 12 Euro 0 league win against Darwin on April 4, 1892. This is still the widest margin of victory for a game in the top flight of English football, although the record was equalled by Nottingham Forest when they beat Leicester Foss by the same scoreline in 1909. Albion's biggest FA Cup victory came when they beat Chatham 10 Euro 1 on March 2, 1889. The club's record league defeat was a 3 Euro 10 loss against Stoke City on February 4, 1937, while a 0 Euro 5 defeat to Leeds United on February 18, 1967 represents Albion's heaviest FA Cup loss. Tony Brown holds a number of Albion's club records. He has made the most appearances overall for the club, as well as most appearances in the league, FA Cup and in European competition. Brown is the club's top scorer in the league, the FA Cup and in Europe. He is also the club's record scorer overall, with 279 goals. W.G. Richardson scored 328 goals for the club, but this includes 100 during the Second World War, which are not normally counted towards competitive totals. Richardson holds the club record for most league goals in a single season scoring 39 times in 1935 a Euro 36. Albion's most capped international player, taking into account only those caps won whilst at the club, is Zoltar Engira. He has appeared 34 times for Hungary as a West Bromwich Albion player, earning 74 caps in total. Jesse Pennington is the club's most capped England international, with 25 caps. The highest transfer fee paid by the club is a £5.5 million to Sunderland for star copyright Fane Sessegnon on September 2, 2013. The deal could rise to over a £6 million with appearance fee add-ons. The record transfer from Albion to another club is that of Curtis Davis to Aston Villa in July 2008, for a fee of a £8.5 a million. Honours Football League First Division, Premier League Champions, 1919 Euro 20, runners up, 1924 Euro 25, 1953 Euro 54, Football League Second Division, Division 1, Football League Championship, Champions, 1901 Euro 02, 1910 Euro 11, 2007 Euro 08, runners up, 1930 Euro 31, 1948 Euro 49, 2001 Euro 02, 2003 Euro 04, 2009 Euro 10, Football League 3rd Division, Division 2, Football League. 1, Playoff Winners, 1992 Euro 93, FA Cup, Winners, 1888, 1892, 1931, 1954, 1968, Finalists, 1886, 1887, 1895, 1912. 1935 League Cup, winners, 1966, finalists, 1967, 1970, FA Charity Shield, winners, 1920, 1954, runners up, 1931, 1968, Bass Charity Vars, winners, 1999, 2000, 2003, FA Youth Cup, winners, 1976, finalists, 1955, 1960, Tennant Caledonian Cup. Winners, 
1977, Birmingham Senior Cup, winners, 1886, 1895, 1988, 1990, 1991, 2012, 2014, finalists, 1887, 1888, 1890, 1892, 1894, 1903, 1905, 2002, Staffordshire Senior Cup, winners, 1883, 1886, 1887, 1889, 1900, 1902, 1903, 1924, 1926, 1932, 1933, 1951, 1969, Watney Cup, finalists, 1971, footnotes. References, General, McCann, Gavin. The Essential History of West Bromwich Albion. Headline. ISBN A0-7553-1146-9A, Matthews, Tony. Mackenzie, Colin. Albion. A Complete Record of West Bromwich Albion 1879 Euro 1987. Breeden Books. ISBN A0-907969-23-2A. Matthews, Tony. The Who's Who of West Bromwich Albion. Breeden Books. ISBN A0-907969-23-2A. The Who's Who of West Bromwich Albion. Breeden Books. ISBN A1-85983-474-4. Matthews, Tony. West Bromwich Albion, The Complete Record. Breeden Books. ISBN A978-1-85983-565-4A. Adrian Chiles. Full Throstle, The Official History of West Bromwich Albion. Manchester, England, Paul Doherty International. Capno. WBA DVD 05. Retrieved December 3, 2007. A specific. External links West Bromwich Albion FC. Official website West Bromwich Albion FC Events website, Zoopla, a Euro official club sponsor, West Bromwich Albion FC. Official seat transfer website. Official Supporters Club, Former Players Association, Women's Team, West Bromwich Albion FC. On BBC Sport, Club News A Euro Recent Results A Euro Upcoming Fixtures A Euro Club Statistics, WBA News A Euro Sky Sports, West Brom News from the Birmingham Mail, Albion News from ExpressAndStar.com, PremierLeague.com A Euro West Bromwich Albion.